Right, guys, so we're going to start adding some apps now to our Zoho One uh, experience. And we're going to add the flagship Zoho CRM first. Hundreds of different options and things out there. I'm going to give you the standard walk through the wizard, setting it up as if you're just about to set it up. There's thousands of customizations coming. Ask in the comments or ask in the Zoho One experience, and I will do my best to answer you all, right? So in the dashboard, you go to apps, you go to the CRM. Um, oh, sorry. If you haven't already installed it, so add application and then go to CRM and add, right? I've already done it. So I'm going to go back to my user settings and I'm going to go to CRM. And it's because it's the first time we've logged into it. It's going to go through a wizard and tell me what do you want to set up? and um, uh, what names, numbers, things like that, right? So I should have called this the Zoho One Experience with it, shouldn't I? So I'm going to leave it as App Me Security Limited because it's easier for me to do videos with a security-based company. So obviously put your company name in. It will have picked that up off your information and your phone number if it's different. Change this. You can also edit languages here, edit your time zone so that everything um, is in your correct language and... Um, Obviously, when you're booking in meetings and calls and things, it's going to take your time zone. Load sample data. You can do that if you're testing out Zoho CRM and you want to play around with it. Load the sample data and get started. Take a tour. You might as well take a tour while you're here. Uh, track all your leads. So you're going to track all your leads in, uh, in the leads. Follow up on and qualify. So all the leads that will become actual deals or options for deals. Uh, you're going to qualify a lead and then move it and convert it into a, into a win. So qualify your leads, convert them, and then make them into a deal. And then you try to win or lose the deal. Uh, know how you're performing in the reports, in your timeline. And then you're in. There's obviously all different ways to import your data import your other contacts i'm not going to show you that in this video i have i have videos on how to import contacts uh, it's relatively simple but you are set up now on zo crm here's your lead so these were the leads we were talking about where you can log in where you can see your leads you can see your information you can start tracking you can add a new lead up the top here so there's not a lot to set up on the crm uh, out of the box there's hundreds and hundreds like if you don't call it these different statuses you can change, these boxes you can move around, uh, you can add fields, so you can basically go to customization over here, modules and fields, go to your leads or whichever box you want to change, go to standard and move around these boxes, you know, Twitter, you can move it up if that's a high thing. If it's something you don't need to use, you can go over here, uh, and remove it get rid of it but you can completely change how the the um the uh system looks depending on what you want but just signing up and, and getting going with the crm is very simple um browse around your contacts again this is all sample data you can edit this view you can change it so that you've just got a list of people again you can go in and play around. So this is all about the initial setup of your Zoho CRM. Go through, get familiar with where things are. So there's Chris Marrier. Here's a deal. Here's a deal to try and get, get it won. Negotiate review. Here's all the stats again. And I'm guessing you've already learned about Zoho CRM before you get here. But for starters, you can just browse around, click about, you know, get to know Zoho CRM before you really dive in to editing things and adding all sorts of extra settings. So this was a basic setup just to show you it's really easy just to click and set it up, right? When you've finished testing and you've finished and you want to go live and, and start putting in, put in um, start going and... Uh, getting your active information uh, data doo -doo -doo. now it used to say 
uh, approval. All right, you might have to give it 20 minutes before, so it's installed all the sample data. Then when you go to setup, there is a button that says remove sample data. It doesn't show straight away. So once you've played around and you finish, remove sample data. That will clear off your, your data and now you can use it. So this was a very basic how to get, how to install the CRM on Zo one There's now a thousand different settings that we will talk about in the Zoe one experience or in the comments, leave comments, ask questions. Um, maybe I'll, I'll do a full setup guide um, for like basic companies, uh, changing your settings and things like that. But basically out of the box, you won't need to do much more uh, than install Zoe CRM. Any questions, you know where I am.